Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're back on the test server on the free to play account, and we are going to be looking at the brand new Voyage of Wonder, which is up very, very cool. The Bridge of Souls. I have not actually looked at it yet, but as you can see, we have two crystal chests, we have eight regular gold chests, so a little bit lacking on the gold chest, but two chests give you 10 star stargazer cards as well as 10 faction scrolls so very very nice rewards there get a little bit of emblems a couple diamonds so another 500 diamonds so definitely good rewards for doing the bridge of souls plus you get to experience something different so here we do have it looks like mobis and hogan so these are going to be the two that the story is based on so running through here looks pretty cool looks like there's going to be a lot of tricks a lot of traps a lot of directional it looks like a couple of them dwarven beacons so we'll actually slide this beacon right over in order to protect our sacred land in the dignity of the fallen we've created a system of levers so there is a path up here corresponding platforms to drop a piece of the bridge soul to arrive once all beacons have been illuminated the bridge of souls may be traversed so we do have to go ahead and put this all the way together so that is our first soul this one will actually slide right over which there, there's a very particular path that this has to go. So right here in the middle, this one you actually hit twice. And then we slide the original one back over. Number four is this little pad. So we'll actually teleport to the middle here. So we are in the middle of these four. And we're going to fight our first battle here. So common enemies. I'm hoping with my combination, this is the lineup that I've been using for a while. I'm hoping this combination is going to be strong enough to get us through this Voyage of Wonder. Usually when we get Shimira alting, as you can see, they're very, very easy to defeat the battle once we get her to alt. So there is our relics um, defense. We're going to go for defense on this one just to make us a little bit stronger overall. So we'll continue down this way. Rowan taking quite a bit of damage there. Remember, we are running Lucius in here. Fighting Thorin is very, very difficult in here because of the effect, essentially the, the dot effect that he puts. As you can see, Rowan went to absolutely zero hit points on that little one. And here, we're kind of closed in here. So let's look at where we have to go next. We're actually going to go down the other path. Now that we got that golden chest. So moving over to our right, or to our left, excuse me. And Shamira, again, we, we have to make sure that we don't lose Rowan on this one. Got a little bit of healing there, a little bit of love from Lucius. Lucius with Rowan is a very strong combination. Reduces the back line by 30%, which is good. Um, Lucius, Rowan is a good combination between the shields and the heals. If you run just Rowan solo, um, unfortunately, he doesn't have anyone to heal him. He does not use the potions himself. So you do not have anyone to essentially heal him, so you won't be able to. So over here, we'll continue our progression. And here we're just cleaning up gold chests. Right now, we really haven't done too much with this event right now or with this voyage right now, but <clears throat> we are cleaning up all of the camps, getting the relics. That is what I absolutely love doing the very first time. Pick up the relics, because when you run into a camp, that's a lot more difficult. It, it's going to be just that. It is going to be a lot more difficult to kill the camps if you haven't picked up these initial relics first. So we got another gold chest down here. Then we'll continue our way up and to the left after this one. Mizoth, another hero that's shown a little difficulty when you're fighting him in the campaign or even here. We'll go ahead with the damage received reduction of 10%. So up here, this switch, we're actually gonna move over to the right. Should drop this little platform on the top. All right, let's roll all the way to the other side and we'll drop this one down. So actually just switching them right back so we can make our way to the bottom chest down here. And in a moment, we're gonna fight our first elite camp. Again, I'm really hoping maybe we should take alt off here. Hoping that we don't have to alt everything. Not sure again how tough these elite camps are going to be in here. 
health regen. We got shards of force. Shards of force are always good, especially when you know you're going to get several shards. So if we can alt pretty quick here, uh, Shamira's dot should be able to. Very easy. Took the took the camp down a lot easier than I had thought. All right, so this one we will grab haste. Warhorn is really good, but the haste is what equivalents to energy regeneration. The faster you get an energy regeneration, the better off you are. So here, we're gonna slide this cart over one more time. And we're gonna actually head up through this little path. And I think I'm gonna kill both these camps. Again, I, I do like killing the camps just because I don't want it to be increasingly difficult when we get a little bit further or us to have problems with camps in the future. And again, we're dealing with Thorin. Rowan goes to zero hit points because of that taint ability that it carries. So here we'll go with backline, a little bit more damage. And this one looks a little stronger, but we, we should be good as long as we don't lose Rowan. See, that, that's my fear is losing Rowan on this one. All right, let's try swapping him. Maybe up top, Lucius just needs to give him a quick heal or a quick shield, which it looks like we're going to get the shield off the hair. Oden quits taking his power, but we, we lived him. He, he lived through that one, so that was good. This one reduces backline. We'll go with energy because remember, we are focusing on a Shamira alt here. All right, so there is that one. So that cleans it up and that it clears it out for the left side. So now we're actually going to go around to the right side, which let me see, I think we can go just kind of through here. Yep, so we're actually going to come over this way to the right side. There's actually a little path right there through the middle. So we'll clean out the right side, clean out all the chest over here, and then we'll get into the switches and levers that are going to make this all possible. We got to swap Rome back to the middle. The Thorin Flora combination is very difficult to deal with as well. Just because Thorin, you do have to kill twice. Same with the Brutus shield. Um, a little more difficult just because of the amount of time that you have to keep, essentially keep your heroes alive. But Nara's ultimate ability with Furniture helps a lot, as you just seen right there. This one will go for more damage reduction. So we'll pick up this chest, and now we're going to get into some of our little our little levers here. So this little blue one, we're going to go ahead and hit. Our path is blocked by laser beams. Don't send any way to change them. All right, so we hit this little blue lever here. So once we hit the blue lever, this is going to be our blue lever. Boom. So this is going to change the directions of laser beams, block some, raise some up. As you can see, everything changed from the beacons. And it looks like it opened the entire path which is weird because we're, we're far from done at this point. So this one actually, since we raised the laser up, we can sneak under this laser right in the top to get to this camp. I wish it followed me a little better there, but we snuck essentially right under that laser beam that was there to pick up this chest. All right, so there was the blue one we hit. This is the chest we wanted to get to. So we will grab this one and back to your blue lever a second time. So we'll actually lower this one down, change all of these places back. Because now we are actually on this side, which this is the one we wanted to change. Have to hit the blue lever from this side to go ahead. It blocks that route, but it opens up down here which we're gonna go take care of right now. So we'll hit this little teleporter, clean out a couple more of these chests. So it is pretty particular in how you have to go through here and actually complete all of these. So let's see what we get here. Graveborn, of course. We have Nara, we have Shamira. All right, so there's our chest there. So we'll hop back in this teleporter. All right, so let's see. Now we go back to the blue lever. We'll hit it one more time. Remember to raise that one up. 
And now we're gonna go clean out the middle. So now we can actually go over the laser beam again, just like we've seen. So this is where we're gonna go straight down the middle, take out these camps here. And then we'll go straight up through the middle and take out the camps there as well. And that will be it for the voyage. So relatively easy. There actually wasn't that many, that many switches or levers we really had to hit in here. So we'll go for, let's go with factional damage. All right, so our first chief camp enemies, which I'm hoping that Shamira's alt is just gonna go ahead and pretty much kill them all out. Yeah, so not, not too difficult in that one. So this will take us to our first crystal chest, which is right here in the middle. And remember, we open the pathway up here, so we will actually take out these chief enemies. This camp, this team comp looks pretty rough. But I'm hoping with the, the double Shamira alt plus the shield, should be able to take it down, just overwhelming them with raw power. Trying to get Flora down, trying to get Shamira down, or excuse me, Taylene down. All right, so we got that one down. So that should take us all the way up here for this chest. And that was actually relatively easy. Let me make sure that we got picked up all of our chests here. We have two of two of the crystal chests. We have eight of our gold chests. So that is it for the Bridge of Souls, guys. That was actually very, very easy. So only a couple, so you kind of do the, the little part at the beginning, then the left side, then a little bit of the right side. You pick up your loot. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So let me know in the comments what you think. Very, very cool Voyage of Wonder. I love that they are continuing to make them nonstop. The loot that they give with 10 Stargazer cards, absolutely phenomenal with the faction scrolls some more diamonds but that will do it for the bridge of scrolls again let me know in the comments what you guys think and as always thank you guys for watching